Hi guys, good morning, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video, happy weekend, happy Sunday, I hope you are all having a lovely day so far, I know it's early if you're watching this as soon as I've uploaded it, but I decided to upload a video today that I'm hoping will um, maybe motivate some of you guys if you need that kick today to get on with the stuff around the house. It is Sunday for me, it is that kind of day of let's get some tasks done so I'm going to do a bit of cleaning today a bit of a reset day there's a couple of things on my to-do list that I've had for ages that I want to tick off and then if I get around to it as well I might even do some seasonal baking to just complete the house I feel like a good wholesome bake at the end of a weekend is just so satisfying so yeah that is the plan for today firstly I'm going to make a drink and do a bit of a list of things that I need to get done today and then get on with the cleaning but before I do I wanted to talk about today's video sponsor I have a brand new brand that I'm working with today which is very exciting I've got a couple of products from Dialect. Now Dialect is a fragrances company. They sell a range of products and I've got two new perfumes which I have already given a little sniff of and love them. As you can tell by the packaging they're very minimal in design. There is a reason for that. So their actual scents they base around well-known loved fragrances that are already on the market that are high price points however they provide them at an affordable price point and i do also have a discount code for you which is freya 10 that will get you 10 percent off your entire order so i have two fragrances to show you today the first one is the amber infusion eau de parfum this is what the packaging looks like love the lid the bottle it feels really good quality they are 100 vegan cruelty free as well and this second one that i've got is spicy vanilla obsession its mood is dark luminous bewitching with notes of coffee jasmine patchouli and vanilla and this does smell insane i love that one however i think of the two this one the amber infusion is just tipping the edge for me because this one has notes of jasmine saffron amber woods and ambergris it's an opulent spicy and addictive fusion so i really love that kind of spicy scent so this is going to be my perfume of choice for today so good it's so nice longevity i suppose is one of those things that you can't really test until the end of the day they are a certified carbon neutral brand so careful about their footprint they also have recyclable conscious packaging even use an eco-friendly material for the cap of the perfume as well and with them being an online based brand they do offer a hassle-free returns policy whereby if the scent that you decide to choose isn't for you you can return it and choose another one and a fun fact that i learned through talking with the brand was that it only costs around a pound to produce a gallon of perfume the rest is obviously invested in the actual brand the packaging everything that goes around the actual liquid in the bottle that's only about three percent of the total value of the item itself so dialect really do just drive down those prices whilst not compromising on the quality of the fragrance i mean i am smelling it and it smells so good that um yeah i would definitely recommend to you guys you know i am a fragrance lover so i will leave a link in the description box below for you to check it out and don't forget to take advantage of that discount whilst it's on 10 percent off your order with the code freya 10 thank you so much to dialect for working with me on today's video and now let's head on downstairs let's make ourselves a nice yummy drink in fact you know what i've got a free costa so i might just pop across the road grab myself a gingerbread latte because I feel like it's that time of the season we're going a bit festive and then um we'll get on with cleaning I used to stay up all night trying to find my place chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to leave me out of darkness give me a little faith something to make me stronger someone who could like the way then you came to me and you gave me reason Can't believe it. Every time we touch, I feel at home. There's no way I'd ever let you go. When you put your hands in mine, I'm gonna be alright. I don't know what you do to me, but I feel like I am waking up in the sky. When you put your hands in mine. When I really come alive 
sense to just do that then you've got a wash load on ready for by the time you finish cleaning you can hang it out so strip the bed and I've got actually some kind of seasonal products I thought I would use from the new Mrs. Hinch range we've got the fabric conditioner here and also the um, Lenore in wash scent boosters so got those I've also got this from Glade I found this in Asda and I think it's a new set because I've never seen this one before it's notes of pine and juniper berry the pine woodland plug-in so I'm actually going to put this in here Anyway, I thought I would just show you a couple of new additions. Firstly, my aperture frame. I had the photos printed out, so I want to pop that above here. I just need to get some command strips to do that. Um, I would hang it, but I quite like the idea of being able to, if I decide it doesn't look good there and move, and I want to move it, then I, it doesn't matter. I've not kind of nailed into the wall. Does that make sense? I always do that with my photos and stuff. I just prefer to live with it, see if I like it, and then I can always hang them properly afterwards. But yeah, so I've got loads of cute photos printed out for in that, all kind of me, Tom, and Barney themed with it being above the dog wash. I also wanted to show you our new console table. I'm gonna say console, it's actually like an old rustic French workbench. I did sneak a photo on my Instagram. I need to properly have a play around and style it up and everything first, but um, yeah, I just really like the kind of rustic texture to it. We may need to treat it. So I've just kind of like, it's literally we've just taken delivery of it. So for now, I've just kind of popped a couple of books and I've also popped this sea salt candle. This from the White Company smells so good. One of my faves. I don't know whether to start burning this now or switch out for a seasonal one and maybe put my um put a different one i've got a white company order arriving today actually so if that arrives in time i'll show you in this video some bits that i picked up and then i got this vase ages ago now from home sense it was such a bargain it was about five pounds some dried or preserved kind of eucalyptus this is from inspirations wholesalers a couple of books these are both on my amazon storefront so i'll leave that linked below i am still after another bench for in here i feel like with this being a kind of boot room utility you know i've actually heard the word bootility on in on pinterest so let's call it a bootility. Um, I've got a wooden, I'm actually just hidden there, a wooden um, hooks, which I'm gonna pop up here. So underneath it, I want a bench where we can actually sit on it and then pop our welly boots and stuff underneath. And then whilst I'm down here as well, I do, I want to treat my um, Dubarry boots. So I might do that in the um, dog wash, dog wash, boot wash station that we've got. And I've got to do that. I've got um, this kit, which I got from 
again from Amazon. So if I can find it, I'll leave it linked. It's just an UGG kind of treatment kit for boots and stuff. So I'm gonna, there is cleaner and conditioner in here, shoe renew and then a protector, which I'm gonna pop on. So let me go grab my boots and let's do that now. A couple of seasonal products that I'm going to be using today and that I've been collecting. Firstly, this flash sparkling kitchen, although I tend to use it on any, like in any room, it's not necessarily just kitchen, but this is in the spiced pumpkin scent together with my pumpkin scrub daddy and then these wipes i have been using these ones already the winter spice ones but i also found these winter morning ones this is a great scent if you like that really fresh again kind of pine citrusy smell because that has like apple in it is apple citrus i don't think it is is it <laughs> fruitier let's say but i really like both of these and i like to use them with the corresponding as a flora as well these i put to one side which i think i'm going to pop in one of the rooms but um i've already shown you those in a vlog they're part of the stacy solomon um airwick scents in winter walks and whilst i was in asda i also spotted this signature chocolate toffee nut starbucks new flavor that they do so it's 10 sticks so i guess you just have like it with hot milk or water whichever one you prefer i might have one of these tonight <laughs> do want to add to this console is some kind of lamp i was going to pop one here even just for display purposes initially because the reason why is we don't have a plug socket in this section so when we do the upstairs if you can see up there is all yet to be done whilst the floorboards are exposed and everything we're going to have a wire run down through here so that down here we can have a plug socket put in and then I can have a functional lamp. I know you can get sort of timed battery lights, which I might do initially. Um, and the other thing was a potential mirror. I thought some kind of mirror, like a William Wood arch one leaning against the wall from the table. Although I don't know if the table will, like the, the gap, because of the skirting board and the legs, the gap but behind the table i feel like oh i don't know if it's safe enough to prop up a mirror might have to actually kind of hang one another thing on my ever-ending to-do list is in here i just want to organize and sort everything out we pretty much have everything down here now in terms of our storage so we can really sort of compartmentalize everything and categorize everything and have it in proper boxes neat and organized it's partly done i mean it's kind of organized chaos at the minute we've got all the christmas bits on top along with these two boxes or though i do feel like I'd ha i can have a bit of a clear out of those before i put out christmas decorations this year as to which ones i definitely want to keep and which ones i can get rid of these are all bits that i'm packing up for the kitchen when we knock through the ground floor and no longer have a kitchen until the new one is built i just have a load of bits which i thought we don't need they're not essentials they're just like all these bits are like luxury items that we'll put away for the future kitchen and then we have a load of spare boxes in here that we can organize as well but that is for another day we also have some more spare boxes here some bigger ones i am actually just going to use that flash mop for down here as well before i go back upstairs there 
Okay, yet to do the downstairs and the kitchen area and everything because I'm going to start these cinnamon buns that I wanted to make. Um, I bought this actually. Here you do my hair on second. This is honestly how I have my hair 90% of the time. Just a messy bun clipped up off my face. It's the only way, especially when cleaning. So I'm gonna have a bit of a break from cleaning. I haven't done this area yet, hence why there's dog toys everywhere. Still need to hoover down here. Got some pots from our lunch. We had some um, bacon rolls that Tom just made. He has now gone out to some cricket thing that he's got, some cricket ceremony, I don't know. So um, he's out for the rest of the afternoon. So I am gonna start, um, make a start on some baking because I want to bake these cinnamon buns from, this is like a M&S mix. Um, and there's a lot of proving involved. So it's not just a quick bake this one. So I thought I would get started on it now in between cleaning to be able to let it prove, go do some more cleaning and then come back to them later on this evening. So in here you get, dough mix cinnamon mix icing mix although i have bought some extra cream cheese and icing sugar and butter and salted butter because i like a real like this is a little drizzle i like the spread of like a cream cheese on a cinnamon bun oh i have to show you this as well actually this is the candle that i'm currently burning in or like for down here and it smells i mean it looks like i've used hardly any but i've lit this now for Oh, so good i've lit it for maybe a week every night for a good couple of hours so yeah it's lasted quite a while it's in full leaves from natural essentials this is one of my home sense purchases i mean one of many home sense candle purchases throughout this season but yeah i've been loving that one and then for a wax melt in here, once I've tidied up, I think I might use this one from the candle collection. This one is in the scent apple pie. And the other scents I had were sweater weather, fireside, pumpkin spice, which I've used all of those now. But how adorable are they? Little pumpkins. So yeah, I'm gonna put these wax. Oh, that's nice. That's really fresh actually, good for a clean, cleaning day.
lovers come, lovers go, and their hearts seem to change, but mine is still the same, cause I still love them all, and my heart is not to blame, it's just the way it is. So for the most part I'm done in my bathroom now um, but I thought I would just show you what I'm going to do, cheat method. So I've got these Aesop shampoo and conditioners that I have emptied, they are now all finished so I'm going to top them up with a cheaper version. So I've got these from the apothecary range at m &S. These are the detox range with apple cider vinegar, Rambu Vittel, wild mint and peppermint. So I'm going to pop these in. Um, I do actually have another Aesop shampoo conditioner that I've just put in here, a brand new fresh one. So these ones that I had before, I'm going to top up and pop in a spare bathroom because they never really get used, but they look really nice. So yeah. Anyone else do this with like the nice hand soaps or anything? Because I'm sure it's not just me out there that does this. And these are like the exact same size as well. So I feel like it will fill it up perfectly. I almost feel like the um, M&S range tried to dupe the uh, Aesop because I will, oh gosh. Because this range as well, this bath soak that I've got, the Harvard, they are very much a soft colours. So, yeah, I feel like they're very much, they take inspiration from a soft, but it is a beautiful brand. So, I don't see why they wouldn't, to be honest. Look what's just arrived. It has got so dark outside, I feel like... Tom's on route home soon, so hopefully within the next hour or two, we'll be able to enjoy some fresh cinnamon buns together. I've also had the Hotel Chocolat Christmas 2022 gift guide with a selection of all of their Christmas products. Look at all their advent calendars this year. I feel like I might treat myself to a Hotel Chocolat advent calendar this year. So yes, I've just had a white company order arrive. I have a huge fair tree candle, which I'm excited to start burning. I actually picked that up in store. I was speaking to the ladies in store and they were talking about a new fragrance coming out. So when I saw that it was online, I decided to get it to try. So I've tried it in the oil. I always feel like it's a good tester to try the oil. I feel like I'm always gonna like the scent anyway, but the oil is only 10 pounds and these last quite a while as well. So it's a good tester for whether or not you're gonna like it as to whether or not you maybe invest in the candle. So this is the new fragrance that they've brought out. It's called Myrrh, very Christmassy, but also quite, is it minty? Let me get my phone, let's see what they, how they describe it. Rich, warming and aromatic. Scent notes of bergamot myrrh and vetiver. Myrrh is wonderfully sensual and the perfect companion throughout winter with rich, woody myrrh, bright, uplifting bergamot. Yeah, that's, I wanted to say minty, but it's like the bergamot that comes through to, it makes it, makes it quite light and also smoky vetiver with a touch of nutmeg. I've never had this fragrance before. It's not a new one though, it's Highland Escape. And again, this is a festive one that they bring out around Christmas time. The most perfect scent to come home to on a crisp winter's day, a comforting blend of rich aromatic bergamot, earthy vetiver and soothing saffron with woody patchouli and a rich warming swill of cognac. So yeah, I feel like the fact that this one also has vetiver and bergamot in it, it's quite similar. Oh, that is lovely. And then last but not least, I got this from the sale. This is the geranium leaf scent, which has peppermint, Sicilian orange. This is good for just all year. But that's one of those scents that, oh my gosh, it's so 
it just hits you, you know, because it's so citrusy. I feel like I'm craving this now with the vitamin C. I've been full of cold all week last week and I just, I feel like I'm coming out of it now, but. <clears throat> so anyway, hence why I treated myself to a little white company order. I also picked up a set of loungewear slash pajamas. These were in the cell. I'll leave these linked below. I'll leave all of these links below. Rib trim jogger in a medium in pale gray mile. These were £59 full price. I didn't pay that. I think I paid about £30. 20 to 30 pound for each of the top and the bottoms um, but this is what the bottoms look like they're quite thin and super soft and then the top is just the same it's kind of like a scoop neck though so it's quite i feel like it's going to be quite um a relaxed kind of fit on the shoulders there again it's got that ribbed detail edging on the cuff so yeah that is my little white company order i'm gonna go i can hear the timer going off for the cinnamon buns Proving. Okay, now it is time to roll this out with the cinnamon sugar on a tray and again let them prove for another half an hour before I pop them in the oven. So we'll give it that extra time to prove then as well. Already, oh, that's warm. Um, getting very dark outside, so I thought I would end this video. I've been filming all day with a little taste test of my one of my cinnamon buds. I do think I left them in there literally 60 seconds too long, but I'm just going to take a little section of one of them because they're still so warm mm. wow the only thing i would know is i would have added more cinnamon unless if let me try and get a middle bit because i would say that that isn't as cinnamony it's not that strong basically it is better in the middle but yeah touch more cinnamon i would just add to that cinnamon sugar that they made that is a very naughty dinner i think i'm even just going to have that for my tea because that is delicious so house smells amazing i can still smell the perfume on me from this morning from the dialect fragrances that i showed you guys so just again a reminder to check them out and make sure to take advantage of that discount code free 10 will get you 10 percent off um your order definitely try it out thank you to them for working with me on today's video thanks to you guys for watching i hope you have enjoyed this little clean with me reset day i've just had a quick spruce up in there just tidied barney's toys away rearranged the throws and everything like that so we are all set to tuck into this put the tv on find a movie and chill out for the evening so thank you so so much for watching i hope you all have a lovely rest of your sunday and i will see you guys very very soon in my next video bye guys <laughs>